Ah, Christmas. But the holiday season is much more than just Christmas. I mean, basically, from around October onwards, it's nothing but back-to-back holidays and celebrations, especially when you factor in all the different cultures around the world and different belief systems that celebrate different things. So the holiday period is just an ongoing festival of, if you're doing it right, celebration. But one thing that Christmas and a lot of these other holidays do have in common is the idea of gifts. And as much as we love buying and playing video games, there's something special about being given a video game as a gift. So including all celebrations imaginable, I ask, what's your favorite gifted game of all time? My favorite holiday Christmas game that I received as a gift is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Now, I myself do not celebrate Christmas. However, December the 26th, the day after, is my birthday. So that does fall under holiday season. That being said, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was just a phenomenal game. It was a perfect gift because at the time I was having a bit of a skateboarding phase. And even if you did not have a skateboarding phase, a lot of people just enjoyed this game. Once you got the hang of it, which I found it was pretty easy to get the hang of, it was just a fun game to play. A lot of great levels, a lot of great missions and achievements to achieve. A great character roster, an awesome soundtrack, um, and it was just loads of fun. Multiplayer mode, I believe it was a mode where you can play a game called Horse or Skate, uh, which was always great, which was always fun. And in my opinion, it is the best skateboarding game of all time. On a side note, the character that I always loved to choose was Kareem Campbell. My favourite gifted game of all time has to be Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles 2 for the NES. I got given this way back in Christmas of 93 or 94, I forget which one. By that point I'd already owned the first Turtles game for the NES and honestly I had my mind blown when I was given Turtles 2. I had no idea Turtles 2 even existed and I was even more shocked that my parents would even get this for me. What I loved most about this game was that it more accurately represented the cartoon show, which I loved. And the fact that you could play the game in two-player co-op was simply a game changer. I sunk in so many hours into Turtles 2 with my little sister way back in the day. Despite how poorly the game has aged, I still have so many fond memories of it. My favourite gifted game of all time is Resident Evil 2 for the Nintendo 64. A gift from my auntie for Christmas 1999. This game was in itself a fantastic present, even though yes, I did pick it for myself. But more importantly, this was the game that opened me up to the Resident Evil franchise, something that I would go on to enjoy a lifelong love for. When I initially slid the cartridge to this into the Nintendo 64, I found the game really difficult and a struggle to get to grips with. It was so different to the games I'd played before. But once I found that niche and really understood the way this game was played, it was the only thing I played for months. Not only that, it was a game I replayed over and over again, certainly as both the main characters within the game, but then again since. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan of Resident Evil. My favourite gifted game of all time is Pac-Man on the Game Boy Advance. This came out in 2004, however I didn't get it till probably about three years later. Um, it was part of a range of classic NES series games released on the Game Boy Advance. And I got it off my boyfriend for Christmas one year. As I say, it's probably about 2007-2008. And I just absolutely love this game. Pac-Man, totally my level of gaming. And he's just adorable. I mean, I know it's just a round circle, but he's still adorable. Um, and the dirt ghosts are pretty cute too. There's also the fruit in it, and I'm a big cherry fan. What can I say? Um, so I was just really excited when I got this game, and it was back on being at like a portable device. And it was like, you know, back to the original, just simplistic bliss. What can I say? My favourite gifted game of all time is Assassin's Creed Origins, the PlayStation 4. A gift from my mum for Christmas 2018, this was actually the year that the game's sequel came out, and that meant that this game was available for a discount price. So picking it as one of my presents, 
I was able to visit the land of Egypt, somewhere I have a huge fascination and fondness for, whilst also exploring a completely new type of game, having never really played the Assassin's Creed games before. The game ranks as one of the most beautiful games I've ever played, with sprawling metropolis, a fantastic storyline, and some of the most beloved characters I've ever come across in a video game. This game was a true gift from the gods and my mum. My favourite game related present that I ever got would have been Sonic the Hedgehog all the way back in 1991. It was a real game changer for me as just one year before I would have been playing the ZX Spectrum. And can you just imagine those colourful graphics, high speed platforming and that soundtrack. It was something completely new and it really took things to the next level. My favorite gifted game of all time is Devil May Cry 5 for PS4. I got this game for Christmas in 2016 from my grandma. Um, for those of you who don't know, Devil May Cry is a game where you play as the demon slayer Dante on his quest to um, basically save humanity from the demon race. The reason I love Devil May Cry is because it, Devil May Cry 5, is because it was basically my uh, gateway into the main series of games. I had played the reboot beforehand, but I think we all know uh, how that turned out. But Devil May Cry 5 was my main intro introduction into the world of Devil May Cry. One of my favorite games that I've ever gotten for Christmas was a game called Tatsunoko vs. Capcom Ultimate All-Stars for the Wii. Now, I ended up finding this game because a YouTuber by the name of Frequency had reviewed it and I saw the gameplay footage and I loved it immediately. <laughs> so after doing some research on it and making sure that it had come out in America, so I didn't send my mom on a wild goose chase. Christmas morning comes. I unwrap the gifts. It's there. And I end up sinking like 9 or 10 hours into it. Going from like 1, 1 o'clock p.m. 1 o'clock p.m. to 10 p.m. That was nuts. Shadow Fox out. So there we have it, some fantastic games and some fantastic gifts talked about by some fantastic YouTubers and Instagrammers. I want to give a big thank you to all the people that have collaborated on this video with me. This has been the best one yet and I hope every single one of them has a fantastic Christmas and I hope everyone watching has a fantastic Christmas well and a fantastic new year and whatever games you get this year, take the high ground.